Hey guys, welcome back. It is technically Vlogmas Day 8, but I missed yesterday and I don't really care. So <laughs> we'll just pretend that it's um, Vlogmas Day 8 since I didn't post yesterday. And that is because I was having a really relaxing day and <clears throat> really did not care to post any videos because I did a lot on Friday. Oh, no, no, it was Saturday that we had done a lot, and I literally was stuck um, either in my bed or on the couch in my recliner um, trying not to die <laughs> in pain. I was having really bad, um, like, skull pressure and pain, and it's not migraines. I've had these before because I have lupus and a million other things It seems to be wrong. I get these symptoms sometimes that just flare up and when they do it's like debilitating so I don't do anything and looking at a screen does not help so yeah I didn't post anything yesterday which is fine I'm not stressing myself out over it um here I am today and like I said these videos that I'm uploading they're not just shot like days before they're the same day videos like I'm just updating you guys, showing you guys things, and then posting them the same day. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to update you guys on what is going on. Last Friday, we took a car in to get um, looked at by the dealership again since getting it like a month ago for the second time because this airbag sensor keeps coming on for the passenger. And that's not normal. That means either the airbag is not working right or I don't know what it means. So we brought it back. Um, it was supposed to take like an hour to get fixed. And my husband was the one that went because our youngest was going to be getting off the bus. So I stayed home. Thank God I did that. Even though they said, oh, it'll take an hour because it didn't take an hour. My husband has the patience of a saint like I'm not even joking he has more patience in one of his little fingers than my whole body he literally sat there for hours until I called to ask what was going on because no one came out to tell him anything no one updated him they weren't saying nothing so I said you know you have an appointment at chiropractor in literally a couple hours um they need to tell you what's going on so I called up there and said, hey, my husband's sitting in the service department. He's not going to say anything because that's just how he is. Can you please let him know what's going on with our vehicle? They told us an hour. Um, yeah, we need to know. He's got an appointment and literally two hours he needs to be on the road. So they came back and told him that they found the issue. It was a computer issue with the sensor. They need to replace the whole thing. That he's going to have to have it. They won't be able to do it till Tuesday. Um, he'll have to come back. So I'm sitting there just like. So they want you to drive the van home. And bring it back again for a third time. Knowing that the sensor does not work. Meaning the air airbags will not deploy. If you're hit again in another accident. Or you know which is dangerous to me. So they're allowing you to drive home with this car and drive it around, especially with, you know, it's our only vehicle and we use it, you know, it's our family car and they want us to put our kids in this vehicle and fingers crossed nobody hits us or he doesn't get in an accident again and they're okay with that. I said, no, you're not leaving without a rental. That's stupid. So I called back up there and I said, look, Here's the situation. Told them what they said. The lady was just like, no, that's stupid. Like, you're not. No. I will go back there and tell him not to leave. Do not worry about it. We will get you into a rental. It's not a problem. Which was great because the GM was right there. They He heard all of it. So he was kind of frustrated with the thing, with the whole thing. So long story short... He got a rental, we have it till tomorrow, and then we go and get our van. I'm going to go up there with him when he goes to get the van because I want to ask them, like, do you, how, how guaranteed are you that this van is safe to drive 900 miles? 
because we have a trip coming up next weekend um, to go home for Christmas. And we're going to have our kids in the car. This is the second time we brought our van in for this issue. But what other hidden issues might pop up that we don't know about? And this time, we're going to be either on the road or at home. And there's nothing we can do about it because we don't have the funds. And we're not going to be by that dealership that sold us the van. So I want them to really make sure that this van is safe and for my peace of mind before we go. You know, my grandpa works for Chry worked for Chrysler for 40 years and retired. So I guess when we're home, I can have him look and make sure everything's okay. But he's 80 years old. I'm not going to make my 80-year-old grandpa, especially in St. Louis and Christmas time, which is freezing and bad weather, and get out and go down and look at my car. That's stupid when it's their job to do it. So anyway, I was just frustrated over that whole situation. But I have faith everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. It always does for us somehow. Don't know how, but it does. Um, I do have several appointments coming up until we leave. Like today, I have an appointment at pulmonary. I have to get a CT scan. I have to do these testing and x-rays every few months. It's just routine to make sure because of my lung disease that I, especially with doing chemo, that I'm staying stable and not declining, which so far everything has been stable, but um, you know, you have to do them because you don't know. Like the whole point of me doing all this medication and infusions and therapies is to keep me stable as long as possible until I can get into transplant and do what I gotta do with them. So today I have the chest x-ray, I do blood draw um, tomorrow, I get um, chemo this Friday. The next week, I have to get my pain pump filled and I do pulmonary testing, which is pulmonary function test and a six minute walk where, six minute walk is where they put a pulse ox on your finger, literally walking the halls for like six minutes. They watch your oxygen levels and your heart rate, which I've never finished a six minute walk because of my lungs. Like, my lungs don't work right, meaning my heart works harder for my lungs because I'm not getting enough blood and oxygen to my lungs. So my heart's pumping harder and faster. So my heart rate elevates quicker than normal, meaning why I have a handicap plaque in my van and why, well, I wear oxygen because of my lungs, but why I don't really walk that much unless I need to. Now, I used to have to use a wheelchair Every, everywhere, no matter what it was. Now I force myself to walk. I just walk slow. I don't try to keep up with people. I walk at my pace where I don't elevate my heart rate the best I can. And I've been okay. Now there are days where I need to use a wheelchair and that's fine. I can't do anything about it. Um, but yeah, I try to walk um, a lot and there's just days where, you know, I'm just, well, and I can't. And today feels like one of those days. And it doesn't help when the weather is also crappy out. Like, it is very foggy. It's cold. It's gloomy. It looks like it's going to rain. doesn't say it's going to rain, but it's just bad weather. So I'm not looking forward to the weather in um, St. Louis because wintertime is it's depressing. It's it's very cold there compared to here in Florida. So um, we're preparing for cold. Like we have bought, you know, clothes for the cold, um, which was fun because I got out all these jeans that I have not fit into in like years and trying them on. They fit. I was so excited. Now I was a size 22 pants. I'm a size 15 at the moment. So, major difference. I used to be a size 3X in shirts. This shirt I have on is an extra large. And I can fit, depending on what the shirt is and where it's made, I can fit into a medium large. Um, and I can fit into the juniors department too. And sometimes I just, you know, obviously the women's if I need to. But 
yeah, it's been kind of interesting to see that much of a transformation. But anyway, um, there's not much really left to say. I, I'm not going to do my face with makeup that crazy. If I do any makeup, it's going to be like very basic amount, just foundation and like blush, lip gloss, and mascara. And probably that's it because I'm not really going to do anything but do a chest x-ray. It's crazy that we have to drive all the way out there to do a CT scan. Like, I think it's stupid. But that's where my pulmonary doctor is, and it's a military doctor, so kind of don't have a choice. But, all right, guys. I'm sorry that this video, again, is not that long. I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know what was going on, um, why I didn't post anything yesterday, but today I will try and um, be videoing more for tomorrow. So I have more to show you guys. Dinner tonight, um, which I will show you in tomorrow's video, we're cooking. I, I'm hoping I do not butcher this, but it's I look, found a recipe for chicken flatas. Um, looks amazing. We've had them before. I just never videoed making them. I'm going to try and make um, our own tortillas, but um, because I have an appointment very close to dinner time, I got out these flour tortillas already. So I have the chicken cooking in our slow cooker. I'll add all the spices and the stuff I need to for it once I'm home, but it's fairly easy. It's very easy, so I'll show you guys that tomorrow, so stay tuned. I promise you guys tomorrow's video will be better. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.